I don't have my stream deck with me, so I can't do that. Introduction. Uh, okay. So, so, once again, so Cameron here. Um, this is my weekly live stream. Talk about random things that were happening. I'm now at a uh, undisclosed location in Thailand. Um, it's the Jack Diamond Eastland Bar. It's a pretty nice little joint here. I've been coming here for um, for lunch the past couple of days. So there's a couple of things I wanted to you know, talk about a little bit uh, for this live stream. Um, the first things first, uh, the flight. <laughs> the flight, or the flights, were, were rather rough. Um, I knew it would be tough, but man, they don't make those penalties for big guys. Um, not at all. Not at all. Um, so I took, uh, it was a three, a three connected flight to get uh, to Thailand. It took me over 24 hours. Uh, the first one was from New York, sorry, from Fort Lauderdale to New York. Um, from New York to uh, Japan, Narita, and from Narita to Bangkok. And every single step of the way, I was uncomfortable. Um, every single step of the way, I couldn't sleep much. Um, it was torture. Um, <laughs> I don't know what it is. The, the last time I took such a long flight, I took Singapore Airlines, and I was so comfortable. And the, the, flight, the flight was only 800 bucks. So, I don't know, they're tripping out on the seats and the leg room. My knees were just completely eviscerated. But let me stop whining. <laughs> let me stop whining. Uh, so, you know, the first couple of days I, I, I was working remote. Um, and um, surprisingly, the internet here is super fast. Um, the guy, uh, the Airbnb I have, um, he has like a 100, gig, uh, 100 meg connection, pretty stable, and I'm actually live streaming right now from my phone, it's uh, running off LTE, pretty stable as well, I'm getting signal everywhere, I haven't dropped signal at all, and I have this uh, unlimited phone plan, it's like uh, 1600 baht for the 30 days, and that's, that's dirt cheap, that's like 20, 30 bucks uh, US, I think, right, uh, let me do the math. Actually, it might be, it might be around 60 bucks or 50 if I think about it right. Oh, uh, now I have to do the math. Let me do the math real quick. 1600 Thai baht. It's USD. Plus 60,000. Alright, so that's $43. Which is still good. Uh, right now I'm paying like $35. For seven gigs of uh, high-speed data, and it's not even the best connection. Anyway, really good internet here. Um, uh, no issue at all connecting with my phone, using Google Maps, Google Translate, all that kind of stuff. So uh, I'm I'm very pleased about that. It's 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 fantastic. And the weather's been pretty good. It's rainy season, uh, but I haven't been really caught in such a in a, in a torrential downpour. So. Uh, I guess I've been lucky. It's rained a little bit here and there, but it's mostly been um, a little bit on the hot and humid side. You know, I was out yesterday, was in the temples, and uh, it was it was pretty hot. It was sunny all day, and I was completely drenched, uh, but it was fantastic. So the weather's fine. Uh, people are pretty friendly. Um, I haven't done a whole lot of interactions, but I've met a couple of uh, guys and girls down here. And um, I, I haven't had a bad experience yet. That's, that's fantastic. I think when I was in Japan, I didn't really have a bad experience in Japan, but there are, there are some people who just didn't look at you. Uh, they didn't even acknowledge your existence. So uh, it's, it's been better so far. Um, they're very friendly. I met a couple of guys in some kind of anime group. They're pretty cool. You went to this little... A Japanese cultural uh, little convention thing in one of the mega malls, and it was, it was pretty fantastic. Uh, you know, talking, uh, talking with them, um, and then, um, and then the, the next topic is like Thailand. 
is huge. Uh, well, Bangkok in, in, in specific. Uh, it's it's massive. It's like one huge city. It's, it's, it's so... I don't know how to explain it. It's like old school and new school just like, smashed together. And there's like high rises everywhere, big buildings everywhere. And then at, uh, at the street level, there's a bunch of street vendors and... It's just the contrast is so interesting between the old and the new. Um, some parts are more new and some parts are more old, um, but um, it makes an interesting contrast, especially when you go to like, one of the mega malls. Um, these things are like, I don't even know how to explain that. They go like, they're huge, they're like multiple football fields uh, in size, um, stretching out horizontally. And then they're like seven, eight, nine, ten floors vertically, and it's just hundreds of. I would, I would imagine at any one point there might be a hundred thousand people in, in, in one of these malls. It's just that packed. It's just that many floors. It's just that many shops. It's, it's kind of mind-boggling, um, and a bit overwhelming if I'm being honest. It's, it's quite overwhelming sometimes going in there. Um, but it's it's fantastic. You see, <laughs> you, roll, uh, you know, go to Icon Siam and um, what's the other one? I did, uh, Terminal Twenty One. I think there's another one. I did NBK and stuff like that. And uh, you know, some of the fancier ones like Icon Siam, I think. No, not Icon Siam. Oh, I forgot what it's called. The Paragon, right? Yeah, the Paragon. It has like. Uh, like car dealerships inside the mall, like how Tesla does it in the states. So it's it's, it's wild. I mean, I think at Icon Siam, I, I, you'll see like a Rolls Royce Rolls Royce dealership in the mall, which is is just it's, it's it's crazy. Like the contrast is just so apparent, right? You'll be out front, you'll see a bunch of like super high end, super uh, luxury sports cars. And inside, they're just like, you know, the regular people in there can never really afford anything in there. But, you know, they're just going out, hanging around, maybe they buy food and stuff like that. But it's, it's, it's wild, the contrast. Um, and then the other thing is, at the mega malls, you might find a lot of English. But out, out in the city, it's tough to navigate as a, as a tourist or a foreigner. Uh, they don't have a lot of English language anywhere. I think in Japan, I, you know, there was a lot more English language and English words. You know, they have their um, romaji. So, you know, you, you, even if you don't understand the language, you can still do some basic translations in your head. But they, everything is in Thai here. Um, it's, it's very difficult to navigate without a local or maybe doing some deduction kind of figure out what what's what should go where so I, I find myself a little bit confused and lost um, quite often not a little bit but often confused and a little bit lost <laughs> let me put it that way um, the good thing is Thai people speak more English than Japanese people. so you, you're more likely to find somebody who speaks English to help you so there's a trade out there. In Japan, they have a lot more English language, but less English speakers. In Thailand, they have less English language, but more English speakers. So it balances out. All right. And um, the next thing I, I've kind of noticed is that they have a huge anime culture down here. Apparently, um, Thai people love Japanese culture. Uh, I, I mean, I can blame them. Uh, but yeah, that, that was, that's mostly it so far. Um, it's been, it's been fantastic. The food has been interesting. Yeah. The weather's good. People are nice. It's different. Um, at this point, I'm, I'm almost feeling, uh, I'm all, I'm feeling very comfortable here. I can see myself living here. But that's, uh. That's not what a fantasy at this point. Anyway, that's that's the transmission for today. Um, I'll catch up with you guys in a week. I'll also be dropping a short video or vlog of uh, some of the stuff I've been up to since I've uh, landed. So that's going to see it for me.
until next time.